an invitation from the Queen herself. Timey, do you read me? Uh, oh, I'm here, Commander. Oh, I must have nodded off there for a second. I'm headed to Divinity's Reach to meet the Queen. But, have you heard from Bram? No, sorry. Rox got word through, though. Apparently she talked some sense into him. He formed an exploratory committee, let's say. They're making their way up to Jormag as we speak, to see what kind of damage they can do before mobilizing a larger force. I'm worried about him, Commander. He's calling this group Destiny's Edge. I don't suppose Ritlock or Kaith had any say in that. No. I don't... I don't want to lose him to Jormag. And if we're right about its weakness, he won't stand a chance. How are we doing on that front? I have an idea. A great idea. Well, brilliant, really. But I need to complete the experiment with the samples, then reach out to some contacts to see if I can get what I need for the aforementioned brilliant idea. I'll keep you posted. Anyway, say hi to the Queen for me. Do you know her? I feel like I do, after all the gossip rags I've read. Do you know she doesn't wear shoes? Try not to stare at her feet now that I told you that. You're a huge help, as always. Get some rest. There you are. The illustrious leader of Dragon's Watch. Welcome. I appreciate the sentiment, Your Majesty, but I feel like I haven't been much of a leader lately. I don't know how you do it. You have a whole kingdom to worry about while I can't even manage to keep a handful of people driving toward one purpose. It's a trying task, but to be honest, sometimes I envy what must be the simplicity of your life. This place is all politics and subtext. Do a thing one person likes and three hate you for it. It can get very complicated. You. <laughs> you just relentlessly smash things until they're no longer at odds with you. I wish it were like that around here sometimes. <laughs> well, what can I smash for you today? I believe a white mantle attack is imminent and must take certain actions here in Divinity's Reach to ensure its safety. The fact that you're not really describing these actions makes me think they might be a little unorthodox. What do you think of this garden, Commander? It's... lovely. Isn't it? And to preserve such a marvel requires constant maintenance. Sometimes weeds creep in, and sometimes you must eradicate them, lest your garden become unkempt. I see. I've called the ministers here under the auspices of a reassuring gathering, but I really need to deliver what some will consider shocking news. Your presence here will go a long way to ease minds, so please, mingle. And also, keep an eye out. Any evidence of white mantle meddlings you find would only support my actions. I'll do some digging. And your majesty, you missed a weed here. That looks like one, but it's actually the Crichton spiderwort. It'll bloom soon, and its petals give you the most luscious dyes. It's my favorite flower. It hides its true potential from most, and then blossoms into something great. Happy hunting, Commander.
quite a lot of guards at this ministry meeting, huh? Yes, it seems they outnumber us at least three to one. More like a militia meeting, if you ask me. Uh, at least we're all a bit safer. Are we safer? I think these extra guards send the opposite message. Well, we should do our best to keep up appearances. The people need it with the white mantle out there. I'm grateful I got invited to this event at all. I'm starting to wish I stayed home. Didn't Stupid sound good. piece of junk! This is unbelievable! No oh, bother! Not again! What happened? The white mantle? Calm down! Calm down! Third time this week this old guy's gone down. Ah, I have to manually enter manifest data when he's offline. Can you... Would you mind getting him up and running while I keep the gate's records? Sure. What a sport. And do be quick about it. My hand cramps easily. This is an odd method of repair. He can be a bit finicky, but the fix-it interface, or fixter phase I've created should make it clear what he needs in order to be fixed. Do you think that'll catch on? I was also toying with combining display and repair into disrepair. Oh, my. Never said that aloud. When you retire from dragon slaying, you should think about opening your own golem repair shop. No one came in or out, so I didn't end up needing to man the gate locks. Plus, I needed the break. Glad I could do your job for you. By the way, I found this part but didn't know where it went. Looks a little like... I've never seen that before. I don't know what it is, but it's not part of this golem. Huh. Hey, Timmy. Come on! Okay, I'm here. Is the communication device you gave me one of a kind? Probably not. I mean, mine is by far the best and most advanced, but there are others out there. Wait, why do you ask? I found a device that looks a lot like the communicator. If it was planted here by the White Mantle, they could be listening in. I'm guessing it isn't the only one. Oh, if 
you want, I can use your communicator to send out a high-frequency ping that'll help you find any others in your area. Let's do that. I'll get what I can and show the Queen. Oh, be sure to let her know I helped! Attack my target! The devices have a security system? Suspicious. The Wee family has the guts to show their faces after what their daughter has the done. Six watch oh, over don't you. be cruel. Minister Wee wouldn't abandon his duties. Yes, but treason against the Queen. That's a lot of shame to bear. <laughs> it is, but we do well to ignore Valette's mistakes and recognize his commitment to the position. has her reasons, I'm sure. The extra security is a bit worrisome, though. It is. And still no sign of Logan Thackeray. Hmm. It's unnatural to see the Queen wandering around without him lately.
Always have time to talk. May the six watch over you. Attack my target! This seems like enough to back up whatever the Queen's about to do. I should give these to her. I was just trying to reassure the Wees here. It's a stressful time for them. Well, not just them, for everyone. The Queen is politely dancing around the fact that our daughter is a... is on the wrong side of this. Have you heard from her? At all? We haven't heard from Valette. That doesn't mean we won't. She's a good girl, Commander. Just a little lost. She'll find her way home. We only want to hear her play the violin again. We all do, Minister. May we speak a moment, Your Majesty? Of course. Pardon us. I found these listening devices around the courtyard. They could be white mantle. Thank you, Commander. I needed evidence like this to support my stance. It appears this is an opportune time, then. Allow me to excuse myself. I have a speech to give. Ministers and members of the royal court, for years we've had a fester inside the kingdom, a creeping undertow that sucked some of our friends and family into its darkness. Now, with Confessor Codicus at the White Mantle's helm, this seething conflict will soon come to a head, as we are poised to be smashed between two rising elder dragons. We cannot stand for a threat from within. For this reason, I'm hereby suspending the ministry until the danger has passed. Some of you will understand it's for your safety. Others will understand that I have trapped them here, far from the White Mantle's network. You cannot! I won't be treated like a common doliac! 
herded into a pen and kept as livestock. I am no criminal. You claim this will keep us safe. From what? Who will keep us safe from you, I say? Good minister, this measure is temporary, I assure you. Only until the kingdom is safe from attack and the traitors in our midst have revealed themselves. The commander has already there verified... There is no attack. This is an autocrat's ploy. Fellow ministers, this is a moment in life, a rare moment where you will look back one day and say, I made a stand or I did nothing. Do you silently let the queen capture your voice and the voice of the people? Or do you make enough noise that the six gods themselves hear us say nay when my grandfather... to take care of them, but you're my priority. For many contingencies, there are some defenses ready to set up right outside the chamber. Quickly!
another Mesmer! Smash away, Commander! This is my chance. Refreshing. to the throne room. We can easily defend it. The last one is just outside there. That feels good. enough. Fellow ministers, join me and help the White Mantle rid Kryta of this illegitimate ruler, or stand by her side and be judged by my fire. Estelle, what a surprise. Who could have seen this coming? You? Maybe you. Did you? And you, my friend? Were you surprised? Get back here, you! I hate to break it to you, but I won't run as easily. I was honored when Codicus tapped me for the job of regicide, and I will see it to its bloody end. Not on my watch, Estelle. Logan! Captain Thackeray, beyond brave as always, but I need you leading the defense of the city. I'll handle this bloated tick. Handle me? You can't move! This hamstrung doormat is your only hope, and I'm about to kill him just to put him out of his lovesick misery. Estelle! What? The whole ministry knew it. 
You'll regret that slight. Damn you! That looks good. of them then for now that uh, that was an impressive show your majesty it was how'd you like smashing things to solve your problems i never want to take up arms against one of my subjects but uh, i think i might be quite suited for your lifestyle i'll save you a spot in dragon's watch if you ever decide to step down very kind now what's the situation outside dust. the city the white mantle army is making a push from the lake but we don't know the full extent of their numbers. I'm headed down to set up a command tent at Doric's Landing. It's good to see you on your feet again. I'll meet you there. Great. We could use the help. Talk to Lieutenant Fors in the Plaza of Lyssa. I'll make sure you're granted access to the battlefield. Logan, please don't slow your recovery by doing something like getting yourself killed. Commander, thank you. And watch out for the weeds. You can never have too much treasure. Hi. Ah. 